Hi, welcome to the series of Hands On with Raza, and today we are going to discuss how we can leverage instructions to large language models like ChatGPT in Raza OSS. We will see details of how easy it is to set up these ChatGPT API calls in Raza OSS via custom actions and how we can easily extend it to the new fields. You must have heard about prompt injection from this video that I made previously in generative AI series, you must have known about prompt injection. So uh, we will also see what we can do from our side when writing the prompts to avoid these attacks. So let's dive in about how we can leverage instructions-based LLMs in Traza. So we have our Raza action server running and we have entered into Raza shell. Now let's ask it, Tell me the list of restaurants. Okay, so it has taken uh, the top five restaurant from the database like that we have given here. And uh, yeah, suppose I want to ask a specific question that needs a data query. It would have been uh, difficult and there would have been lost lots of intents that we had to take care of or uh, lots of other entities. But now you can just ask which of them have, suppose a Wi-Fi. And there you go. You get the answer directly that which of uh, the restaurants listed have wi-fi or let me go to the database what else we can ask uh we can ask the restaurant the rating wi-fi and cuisine so suppose i want to ask about uh tell me which of them is the best Okay, <laughs> okay, tell me which of them has the best rating. So here you saw that how ChatGPT makes it so easy to query through your database in Raza custom actions. So as usual, we will start making changes to the data file. And we will make changes in another post. Uh, intents at last, I will just add intent. Let's still run. Examples. Now, the second part is let's call it. Uh, where we will call the chart ship with the to query. Let's call it in detail itself. Examples, etc. Now we are ready to go for uh, rules. Let's add the rules. Kent is the restaurant and uh, the action you'll have to write a really action show restaurant. Uh, we do not need to make changes in the stories. Uh, and all the changes has already been taken care of here. Uh, but we need to add this. The intents that we added. The stolen scan. 
detail. Okay, uh, we also need to add slots and actions. Okay, now just add the actions. Let's import all the important libraries and we will be mostly uh, importing the data from CSV. So we as well make bundles. Sorry. So SDK, both action and tracker and the smatcher is already there just to uh, collect the information we also need. Mm -hmm. The slot set. Okay, so now to the important thing. Let's make a class for reading and getting information, fetching information from the CSV. So, now let's write our second class for calling your ChargeGPT API. So we get the URL on uh, the model we are using is uh, GPT 3.5. I mean, you can visit the site and you can choose whatever model you want to. You can visit the site, OpenAI site, and you can see all the chat, uh, the chat completion, uh, in which what kind of models there are and what would be the best use case for you these are pretty well documented and i'll link this in the description for your reference now let's start with this we uh, we chose 3.5 turbo now We will give authorization uh, for the token and the type content time. The prompt, because prompt is also going well. Run for the following. And as we remember, what is the prompt? Instructions that the model needs to perform. So, sorry. And these prompts has to be very accurate, has to be a very accurate instruction for your model. Answer the following questions based on the data shown. Uh, because we are also sending data along with the prompts. Uh, and what we, if we have seen the video of generative model, uh, language models in generative AI, you might have seen something we learned about prompt injection. And prompt injections are nothing but the way to get information uh, about the prompts that we do not want to uh, open for the world. So you can see answer in a complete sentence and, and don't say anything else. So these kind of statements are actually necessary to protect 
it from prompt injection. Now, what do we have to ask it? We need to send the data, uh, the CSV file, and the question. This and the content will be the prompt plus uh, your restaurant's file uh, or your uh, data we can say it and uh, then we need to add the question that we had to ask and the content is this after that we define the body the prompt plus the data plus the question and at last we'll tell what should be the result we like from we have already given the URL and return Now we have both the uh, APIs, one for calling, uh, for fetching restaurant data, and the second for having a chat GPT uh, API. But now we have to write action functions so that we can actually call tracker, dispatcher, and can save the data in the slots. We need to fetch restaurants. I just want to show the name of the restaurant or the rating with the rating of the restaurant with the quiz type of cuisine we want to uh, show. Um, so just put headers equals false. Now the dispatcher is what the message we will get a letter message text. Here is your information and what information we want, the name of the restaurant plus its rating uh, if you want us to do that because that has been defined in here in the readable. So these two will be given from the CSV file. Uh, what just we need to do is the return slot set results. Now let's write the class for action restaurant details. This ChatGPT API is being called on the not on the actual database. So we're not sending the actual data set with the prompt and the question, but we are sending the previous results. Uh like Previously, you talked about what are the restaurant. Maybe previously we talked about uh, which of them have Wi-Fi. So we are tracking the interest of the users, and then we are sending those uh, with our prompt and with our question, not the whole database. So this is something that we should always 
uh, you know, uh, keep in mind about what we are sending because there's like a limit to the token and uh, uh, it's it's much better if you send the uh, bl send the data which is only of interest to the user. So tracker dot get slot the results. Okay. The question is was the latest message as text? And the answer we are getting as from the chat GPT dot ask. And what are the uh, information we are sending? The previous results and the question. We need to show some message on the terminal for that we are doing dispatcher.message and your text is the answer. Okay. So after this, uh, we have written actions. We've updated a new file rules. Um, let's uh, put the data uh, res restaurant.csv in our folder, and then we'll uh, just start to answer those questions. So suppose this was our data set here, restaurants.csv, and we want to add an extra header about takeaways. And we say takeaway, well, that may be true. And we fill the data for every other restaurants. And after this, we can ask about the takeaways directly. And you get my present visa to have takeaways. So this is like pretty useful uh, when your database is also updating uh, and the new data is coming on and you don't even need to train your model to get answers. And that's all for today. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you soon with some interesting projects. Meanwhile, you can comment down in the comment box about what you want to see from Rosa. Thank you.